Hello everyone, this is 21.2 Non-Vascular Plants. Non-Vascular Plants have another name. They're also called the Bryophytes. Bryophytes include three groups or lineages. The mosses, the hornworts, and the liverworts. You can see them in the picture on the right. These are the mosses, the liverworts, and the hornworts. Bryophytes are the only plants where their gametophyte stage is larger than their sporophyte stage. They do not have xylem and phloem because they are non-vascular. Vascular comes from vascular tissue, that is the xylem and phloem. So bryophytes do not have xylem and phloem, that's why they are non-vascular, but they have certain kind of internal conducting vessels but not xylem and phloem. They produce flagellated sperm. That means their sperms have flagella which enables it to swim in order to reach the egg. That means for fertilization to happen there should be water. So it requires water for fertilization. Bryophytes, they all disperse by releasing spores. They do not have seeds. They are dispersed by releasing spores in the environment. And because they don't have roots, they have the ability to colonize the rocks. Remember, non-vascular plants, they do not have vascular tissue. So they have the ability to absorb the nutrients through its surface. Bryophytes have the ability to withstand drought. So if there's no water for a certain period of time, it's okay, because it has the ability to store water inside. And that's what makes it live in the Arctic areas. We will start by talking about the first type of bryophytes, which is the mosses. Mosses are the most diverse. They do not have leaves, stems, or roots. They have leaf-like, stem-like, and root-like structures. So their gametophyte stage contains leaf-like photosynthetic structures arranged around a stem-like called stoke. Here you can see the stoke. It's a stem-like structures. And these are the leaf-like structures arranged around the stalk. And below, you have the root-like structures, which is called the rhizoid. Rhizoid, it is used to anchor the plant, not to take up water, because remember, these plants absorb water from all its body.